against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. UFOs are real, and even defense organizations like the Pentagon also started to publicly accept its authenticity. I am Femila Joseph. Here we will discuss a possible explanation how UFOs work. UFOs are very strange and curious. We do not know where they are coming from, what is their energy source, how do they propel in space. Without making any sound, they can simply hover in the air. Without making sonic boom, they can travel at supersonic speeds. They also demonstrate an extreme degree of maneuverability. UFO phenomena are not new. We could find references about them even in ancient texts and paintings. There are also a large number of documented UFO sightings starting from 218 BC. Nowadays, because of the popularity of photographic and videographic technologies, recorded incidents of these phenomena are multiplied. Today, we have numerous real and alleged image and video files available online about them from across the world. One of the most curious questions about UFOs is that, how they propel in space. In fact, once it is figured out and the technology is duplicated, it will revolutionize our both ground-based and space-based transportation technologies forever. According to Einstein's theory of special relativity that was published in 1905, matter and energy are two different manifestations of the same thing. Now, it is believed that the mass defect that occurs in a nuclear reaction is converted into energy. Today, we use Einstein's famous mass energy equivalence formula, E is equal to mc squared, to calculate the amount of energy released in a nuclear reaction. Later, scientists have also observed that a high-energy gamma ray photon can produce an electron-positron pair when it passes through near the nucleus of a heavy atom. The phenomenon is called electron-positron pair production. This phenomenon is nowadays considered as one of the experimental evidences for energy can be converted into matter. When a chemical explosive reacts with oxygen, in a fraction of a second, it will be converted into a superheated gas and explode. In fact, a chemical explosion is occurred because of the change in the state of matter. The explosions that occur inside the internal combustion engine of a car power the car. Similar explosions that occur inside the engine of a plane power the plane to fly in air. However, when we consider about nuclear explosions and the releasing of nuclear energy, we are trained to think in a different way. Since the introduction of the special theory of relativity, it is popularly believed that matter can be converted into pure energy. However, Mr. Joseph George has a different thought about this. He considers the possibility that there is a similarity between chemical explosions and nuclear explosions. He thinks that perhaps the mass defect in a nuclear reaction is converted into a thin form of matter called space matter. A gram of missing matter is converted into a cubic kilometer volume of space matter in millionth of a second. This rapid huge expansion and explosion provides the surrounding particles a great amount of kinetic energy and when these particles collide with the surrounding matter results in the generation of a tremendous amount of heat energy. Maybe this is the way how a nuclear explosion releases energy. In fact, he considers the possibility that just like a chemical explosion, a nuclear explosion also occurs because of the change in the state of matter. Here, the rate of expansion is so huge and the time taken is very short. When these two are met, the impact of a nuclear explosion becomes incomparable to a chemical explosion. He thinks that perhaps extraterrestrials use this explosion of ordinary matter into space matter in a controlled manner for the propulsion of UFOs. Maybe UFOs are able to create the required amount of thrust with this kind of propulsion. In one of the last videos, we saw that space itself is filled with space matter. 
Therefore, the newly released space matter does not make any noticeable change in surrounding space. Maybe this is why UFOs are able to propel in space or hover in air without making exhaust or sound. In future, we may also be able to develop flying craft technologies with space matter propulsion systems. Joseph George thinks that a collaborative work between researchers in the field of nuclear physics, aerospace and space can possibly make a noticeable progress in this field. Please share this video. Also watch how nuclear energy is released 